Hello everyone and welcome back to the continuing adventures of Mora Lin in her trials at the Sith Academy. We just finished up the third area of questing and we're about ready to enter this last quest line on yes. the planet of Korriban. It's remarkable. Magnificent. You, you slave. What? No, acolyte. You're the one who brought me this magnificent holocron from the tomb of Marco Ragnos, yes? I'm gonna be nice to her because she yes, just corrected Lord. herself. I found the holocron. Unbelievable. One thousand years buried in that tomb. The Sith Lords passing it by. And then the most unlikely person comes along. Tell me, how did you manage it? Be nice to her. Um I shot lightning at it, and it <laughs> opened. Such a simple solution. Why did none of us think of that? We That's a good must question, have right? On it, believed too strongly that it could not be done. Or perhaps we were simply not meant to open it. Your work so far in bringing back this holocron and now the text from Tulak Hord's tomb has me intrigued. I am watching your progress eagerly. I have high hopes for you, Acolyte. Sky high. Sky high hopes. I like it. I hope I live up to them. Good luck, Acolyte. Good luck. So I'm being nice to her, like I said, because she's treating me with respect. I tried to explain to the, that to you at the end of the last episode. If they treat me with respect, I'm going to treat them with respect. I was just about to send Fawn off. What delayed you, slave? Okay. I like to stop and smell the blood. You'll be smelling your own blood soon. Now, did you collect the text from Tulak Horde's tomb? All right, what do I want to say? I of never fail. As always, I'm brilliant. Give it here. No doubt it's been badly damaged. It's what we get for sending a careless lowlife to do a Sith job. Isn't that right, Fawn? What are we waiting for, Overseer? Why don't we kill this wretch now? You have a big mouth, slave, but no combat skills. I don't want to see you again until you've satisfied the Korriban instructors. The training facility is on the second floor of the academy and is usually reserved for the Dark Lords and their apprentices. This is not a promotion, and you are not to speak to anyone except the training master when you are up there, understand? You are not fit for their presence. That's hardly your call. I Do not love press this. your luck, slave. I could just let Fawn tear you to pieces. Now get going to the second floor training grounds. I wish you would let Fawn just tear ready. me to the pieces because I'd tear him up first. All right, so we did get a new robe, but I believe the one that we have is much better. Much better. Yeah, look at that. 55 armor less. Everything is down in this one, so we're just going to put that right there. And we're back up to almost 6,000. We need 20,000 for the next uh, unlock of our, of our, um, oh, we don't want to go this way, we want to go left, of our inventory slots. So she's like, all right, I've got to go learn. She's going to run up this stairwell and just get things going. I still didn't get chain lightning, did I? No, we didn't. All right, where is this? Oh, next one. Okay. Oh, storyline. Cool. Hello there, friend. You remember my brother and me from downstairs? With Harkin, right? Together Sorry, they have, have a solid way. beard. We what don't the like hell it is any this? more than you do. Well, maybe a little more. Now, now. You really don't know whether I like this or not. I'm sorry, girl. I liked you. I really did. The Harker made us a deal, see? We kill you, we go home. Come on, do we have to do this? I thought we were friends. We don't want to. But we know we can't beat Fon, and we'll never be Sith. At least this way we can go home, alive. Quiet, Balak. The time for talk is past. Fight for your life, Acolyte. 
Oh, this is good. Let's see. We'll push him away. And then just start force lightning down upon them. Your brother's dead. Don't you feel any pain? Now you're dead. Wow, what the hell is this thing? Stand in here and we're going to fire lots of guns at you and see if you can live. Then you go stand in here. Then you beat on this thing for a little bit. Come get weapons that aren't here. Alright, we're good. Let's see if we survive this. We did. Okay. I really wanted chain lightning. Guess I don't get it yet. Well, well. Look who shows up at long last. I half expected to hear you'd crossed some Dark Lord upstairs and finally got yourself killed. None of the others have shown up either. I assume they're dead by now, which means you and Fawn are the last ones. Speaking of Fawn, he seems conspicuously absent. I hit that hard because he's pissing me off in real life, too. No. You took so long returning, I sent Fawn ahead. Your final trial will be to retrieve an ancient map from the innermost chamber of Naga Sado's tomb, which has never been breached in thousands of years. But before you get the map, you'll have to awaken an ancient assassin called a Dashard that sleeps in the tomb. You cannot access the map without him. Understand? So Dashard, what I think, exactly means the shadow. Dashard? They're a lost race of assassins that the ancient Sith used to devour their force-using enemies. This one will probably eat you the moment he's freed. Oh, and one more thing. You'll be competing with Fawn for this map. Whoever brings it back will be Lord Zash's apprentice. The other will die. And Fawn's already started, so my advice... Oh, great. Run, slave. Thank you. Run. Run, slave, <clears throat> run. Run, run Forrest, run. Lord Zash. What are you doing here? Overseer, are you implying that I, a Lord of the Sith, don't have the right to go where I please within the Academy of the Sith? No. Of course not, Lord Zash. Good. I saw the last Acolyte arrive. I wanted to see the hopefuls off on their final trial. Where's, um, what's his, the red one, Fawn? <laughs> he finished his trial early, so I sent him on Fawn. rather than keeping him waiting for this. Pity. I just finished translating the wonderful text this Acolyte brought from Tulak Hord's tomb. I love it. And it's most illuminating. I don't know that the map can be retrieved without it. What makes you say that? It's too late. Fawn's already left. You can't just... W give one acolyte an unfair advantage over the other? Overseer, when has being Sith ever been about being fair? <laughs> That's a good now, question. my dear acolyte, here is what you must do to free the Dishard. There are rods scattered throughout the tomb of Nagasado. These rods are the keys to the chamber where the ancient assassin is imprisoned. You will need to place the rods in the chamber door and electrify them. I don't know exactly the reason, but it is clear that you will not be able to retrieve the map without the Dashard. That but sounds be careful. good. It is very dangerous. I'll use caution. I will return when both acolytes are back from the tomb. You will not do anything further to affect the outcome of the trial. Understood? I yes, hope he Lord does Zash. understand. Good. And good luck, acolyte. All right. I'm pretty happy now. What did we get? We got gloves that are going to be useless because we already have better. Okay, that's good. No problem. We do want to dump off some of this stuff. So we will go outside and go to the market area and try our best. Yeah, try our best to uh, go with as little as we have little as we can as much room as we can all right so this is it like i said it's just a few hours to get through this part
All right, let's get moving. I'm trying to look and see what we really have to do right now. That's the hard part. All right, so good. Know what we have to do here. So we're going to go and do sell some stuff here. Medical attention. I don't require medical attention, but I want to sell these because none of them are going to help me. Well? There is a weapons vendor here, but I don't think they sell a better. See anything you like? I don't think they sell anything better than what I have. Yeah, they used to sell a Come blue again. one here. There's a social items vendor, social goods. The only thing they sell here, nothing. Nothing. That was not good. And we're on our way to the last tomb. And already I see a quest sitting outside. So this is Sentry Yashia. Acolyte, may I speak to you for a moment? Of course you can. She called Thank me you. Acolyte, not Slave. I'm honored that you would do me the courtesy. There was another Acolyte not long ago who entered this tomb and did not come back. He... he died in there. All right, so... She's what being nice. What caused his death? I don't know. But I could tell he was dying. I heard him scream, even through the great tomb doors. The oh, acolyte great. who went there in there... There are no doors on he, anything in this game. He was a good sort. Friendly and talkative. He said he was entering the tomb to prove himself to his father. I just thought it would be nice if somebody took his body back and told his father he didn't make it. That does yes, make sense. Yes, the father should be told that his son has fallen. Because she was a slave and she would want to know. And even if I did, I wouldn't be allowed to see his father. He is a dark honor guard stationed in the academy. None but Sith can ever set foot on the sacred ground where he stands watch. But you could find the body and bring it to his father. Please do this and honor the fallen. All right. If I see the acolyte's body, I will try to retrieve it. Thank you so much. If you find the acolyte's remains inside We're the doing tomb, our best to be know. nice to people that are nice to us. Father in the academy. Good luck. All right. It's not about seeing weakness. It's about having someone that's being nice to you. All right. So. All right. So we have this right here. Alright, dead, 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 and more dead. Another one. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. I thought I saw a body here. Oh, I did. That was right outside the door. This guy is saying, Who is this? Who comes speaking to Sharon? Is it Acolyte? Is it Sith? That is I'm correct. an acolyte now, but I'll be Sith soon. Who once lived in the academy was once like you. Sharon feasted on the scraps of the beast pens until the overseer sent it away. Could you try to explain things from the beginning? When Sharon was small and weak, it lived in the darkness, ate the things that crawled and hid. The overseer of her Pithor found Sharon, brought bones and meat for Sharon, made Sharon stronger, much better than supping on worms and rats. Stronger? What do you mean, stronger? When Prithar fed Shuran, it became more powerful, it became faster, stronger, more and more every time. Overseer Prithar stopped feeding Shuran special meats, kept Shuran from getting stronger, and sent it away. Shuran hid here. But Shuran has no peace. Monsters hurt it. Shuran is too weak to hurt monsters back. Shuran needs strength from Prithar meat, needs power. Okay. I think I can help. Alright, we'll help him. 
All we have to do is feed the beast. What could go wrong with this, right? All right, I'll do everything good. in my power. We'll just make him go away. So Sharon's gonna reward us. Alright. So we're gonna have to come back here for Sharon. And really, this is just rinse and repeat now. A lot of these things are going to die today. Acolytes will not survive. Okay, well, okay, there's one right in front of us. One of the rods is right there. All right. So there is a rod right in front of us. We just have to clear the room. And we made level 14 already. I just feel like we're getting a little bit too strong for this area. It just... That's why I want to level within the storyline. Because you get so strong... You just go through here and all you're doing is the same thing. It's like rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. Okay, we just have to stay to the left and then to the right. Okay. Ooh, somebody that did something different. Let's shock him. That was a better one. Good. They threat if they send those at me, at least I have a little bit of skill I need. Okay, so we come down to this one and we go to the left. Oh, we have robots now. Robots don't like electricity. All right, you guys are gone. And then back to acolytes and stuff. Kill them all, right? Kill them all. Okay, we got through here. Cool. The Rod of Fury. Okay, we gotta go all the way to the end. I guess we'll get these robots right here. If we had Chain Lightning, things would be so much easier. Alright, that's good. And more acolytes. All right, they're going down like flies. All right, we have to go this way. Okay, nothing in this chamber. Let's put it right here. Actually pretty strong now, right? Killing things like left and right. What's our credits now? 6,800? Almost 7? We need 20,000. Alright, the next rod is right here. Alright. They don't even have a chance. That's the problem here. There's like nothing challenging me. Alright, we have this one right here. All right, where do we go? Oh wait, was there just three right there? <laughs> All right. All right, we got him. Oh, and there was one in here. And where are we going? Okay, we're going to the left.
we got something that's probably a lot worse than what we have, so we'll put it right here. I like to manage my inventory. These guys will go. We'll get those guys right there. We are seeing a little bit of death happening and dying, but robots are not so bad. There we go. We got all the robots that were in here, and they all left us nothing because we don't deserve anything. Okay, we have all four things that we need. Now all we have to do is get out of here safely. Didn't we just kill all these? My god, with 80 people in this place, the respawn rate is just insane. Alright, that's good. Nothing again, but we're going out this door now. Damn it. It's too many things. Go up here and whack them. Whack them all. Alright, so we need to walk back and forth a couple seconds. We're gonna go out that door, and it looks like what we need is right in front of us. Alright, there we go. Oh, they got the Deshad. Okie dokie. So the idea here is, if I remember right... Electrocute this guy. And just keep on... Taking him down. Alright, that's... One of ten. Well, let's see if I can get these guys right behind them. One of them's dead. I knocked one down till tomorrow, and uh, yeah, I ain't gonna. Yeah, we'll go down there after this. All right, let's get these. All right, it looks like we're gonna be fine going through here. Nobody? Okay. I'm going to put this right in the center here. Got us good. Alright, and these dudes. Nine droids. There has to be more. There are. And we are getting a little bit close to death here. But we're in the last room, it looks like. Let's just heal up just a little bit. It's not as hard as that uh, Killing Lord Sundren or whatever his name was. But it is hard nonetheless. If we had the Chain Lightning, none of this would be hurting us. Okay, good. We have to put this one in. Put this one in. Thank God they didn't make it a puzzle like you had to put them in in a certain way. It would have been a wonderful Tomb Raider twist to hear, but it wouldn't be... It would just take away so much time that you have to do these in. Okay. So we got through. 
What's she doing? Oh, shoot. The rods are charging her up. I wonder if this is giving us more power. Oh, it's hurting us. Down on one knee. Push through it. Two knees. Push through it. Stand up. She allows it to flow through her instead of into her. And pushes it through the crystal in the door, energizing the door and opening it. Awesome. I just don't like the way this sits. We're going to need to get a different top at some point. Where the hell did we just go? Okay. <laughs> and that looks like Kem Val. That's our Dishad. There he is. All the world is conspires to mock me. Ha ha ha. Till I court, I waited for you. I did everything you said. And this is what you send me? High fate is cruel to me, little one, but is not as cruel. As it is to you, you have made a terrible mistake. These were the instructions Zash gave me. <laughs> I am to free you, and you will take me to the map in the final chamber of the tomb. I am Kemval, servant of Tulakord, who was called the Lord of Hate, Master of Gathering Darkness, Darth, Lord of the Sith. Together, Tulakord and I devoured our enemies at the battles of Yun. Kabash and brought entire Duman system to its knees, and now I await his return. I don't know I how to say this. I want to break it to you, but Tulak Horde is dead. Dead, my lord. Why didn't you come for me? I would have died with you. No, I would have slain death itself. As for you, you should not have come here. For I hunger, and I will devour you. And he breaks free. He couldn't have done that on his own before. Really? He's a monster that feeds on the force. Electrocute him. Crushing darkness. Recklessness. Little shot. And he gets to his knees. Ha! Defeated! Defeated! Why did you not come for me, Tulak? Why have you allowed your servant to be reduced to this? Fine little one, in my great weakness, you have defeated me, so I must serve you. This is the law that binds me. But you are not my master. Deny I am your master. Get used to it. But someday I will regain my strength. Okay. Oh, see? He's good. He's healing me. It's exactly what I want. It's giving us mending. Alright, good. I want you to open that door. Open that door, right there. Open that. That's what I'm asking for. Now, attack that thing. Now these bats are like, not like the other ones. They're not going down so quickly. Wow, bad bats. Bad bats. All right. You open the door. I think I could have done that. Alright. She all of a sudden feels stronger. Wait, is that a tablet we could click on? Alright, we have to leave this open so we could hear what he's saying all the time. I serve for now. Alright, you serve for now. Um, Shyrax. Lots of them. Chirac feeders. I need a lightsaber. 
I wonder when they let me make one. Alright, here we go. These things are really, really hard to kill. Oh, Galactic Rampage 3. I think that might be good. What do we get from that? Do we get anything from that? 367 credits and 3,834 experience points. Okay, that was good. Now we get these. Let's shock it. And then just hit it a couple of times. Oh shit. That is a little bit bigger than I wanted to fight. Okie dokie. So, um, you, go attack that. I'm gonna hit it with Crushing Darkness. And I'm gonna hit it with this. I'm gonna do this. Oh, shit. So he's keeping me alive. Like I said, once you get a companion, he just seemed to be very, very, very up. I knew he was going to do that. Do this. Give myself some resurgence. Crushing darkness. Is crushing darkness on him? Steadfast is on him. Which means I cannot use my overload to push him back. Alright, so he is hurting me pretty bad here, but Ken Bao just keeps on making me live. Oh, he's getting ready. Alright, we got him. Russian Darkness is wheeling him away a little bit. One more Crushing Darkness, I think it will be good. I've got to move to the center. A little bit of lightning. Yeah, we're done now. now a little bit of lightning. This one, and then this one. He's dead. What does he give us? Oh, Ithorian Mining Wristbands. Big deal. Alright, we are at 8,000. We're going to sit here for a second. We're going to see which things. That's small. That's no. That's large. The rest of them are moderate or small. We'll take it. It might... Make him like us a little bit more. Yeah, he might like us a little bit by the time we're done here. Here's our map. And we can get out of here. Alright, let's get back to Harkin. Who I really want to kill. So, I'm going to bring you to another area. Like I said, I like to kill all the elite mobs that I can. It just makes me feel better. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get to an area where you get to kill a couple of elites. I think there used to be a quest that brought you to this area before, but there isn't any more. We're actually going to come through this area twice. Over here. Wait, no, not here but over here. Because where we're going is going to get us out right there. We are actually going to drop off the ledge right by the door and get ourselves to our next place. Before we do that, I might tell Kem Val to go away.
So he's gonna go away, and I'm just gonna drop down here. And then I'm gonna wait for him. He will come right back to where I am. As soon as he's done selling, and we could manage watching him right here. It should take him about a minute to go get his stuff. He's selling our items. He should be back soon. I can kill this guy while I'm waiting for him. Receive a claw. The claw, I tell you, the claw. He's back. Where is Kim Val? Where is he? Kim Val. Why is he not with me? There he is. Oh, Kim Val, we're gonna need you because we're gonna go kill the brood mother. <laughs> And there she is, the Chlorslug Glutton. That's the one I really wanted to kill. She is not steadfast, but she could be shot. She shouldn't be this hard to kill. I just have to upgrade my spells, that's all. And she's just trying to find different ways to get through this world, make herself stronger to take on her opponents at this point. Alright, we got one. There's nothing else in here, I don't think. Yeah, they're dead. Then we can come out. I think there's one more up here, but it won't be a... Uh, it'll just be a Venom Fang, not anything else. So we get everybody to get coming. That way they all walk into it. And they all die over time. Now I can just focus on this guy. Alright, all the chlor slugs are gone. And then all we have to do is get out of here. Oh, there might be one up here. I forget. I doubt it, but maybe. Nope. This is just the way out. We're in the Deshad chamber, and after this, all we gotta do is run out of here. Oh, shit. There are some androids. Androids are easy. You can see now that I am 14, it's lowering me down to level 12, which is what I'm talking about. I just want to be able to level the way I'm supposed to. And now we can get out of here and go back and finish out these quests. All right. This should not be long getting out of here. I think we go straight, make a left. There's a bunch of people in our way. They'll all die very quickly. Okay, and then up here, and then a right. There's these people, at every turn there's all these people. There's 86 people in this area. Damn. And where are they? 
There we go. All right, and right through here, and then to the right. Obviously, because there's people in the way. At some point, you gotta ask, how many do you have to kill for a major achievement? Okay, we go left. Of course, because there's more here. He killed one, kill the other. Good job. Kemval, you are such an amazing partner of mine. I'm still wondering, how the hell do I understand him? There must be like some kind of force connection that we have. I'm gonna go this way. No, not that way. I'm gonna go this way because it seems like people are in the way here. We'll get these two. Do they die? Ooh, the one that made it fun before. Okay, and then she just really wants to get out of this tomb at this point. So as all these people, she's just like, yeah, we're just going to kill you and rid you of this place. Good. Out of this tomb once and for all. That's great. There's always three more right here. Shouldn't hang out by the... Oh, there it is. Centuries of Pain. Centuries of Pain. Kill a hundred enemies with Kemval as your active companion. That is nuts. Centuries of Pain. It's not going to be until we get to Taris that I get my favorite companion for this. <clears throat> so, Centuries of Pain. There's my voice going again, it. folks. That poor acolyte. He got torn up pretty badly in there. He was so brave and ready to prove himself to his father. His father is, was, name and fall. As I said before, he's one of the Dark Honor Guards in the Academy. If you take the Acolyte's remains to his father, I'm sure he'll be grateful. I don't think... Sounds like a worthy cause. Thank you. It's good to see that there are more feelings embraced I like by her Sith outfit. than just hate and fury. <clears throat> you can find the Acolyte's father I outside if you the can chamber make that of the outfit. Dark Council. That's where he stands guard. Alright. Now all we have to do is just get on, out of here on the other side. I'm going to close out each and every one of these quests little by little. How are we doing? All right, we did get a gun there. And more of these. Let's go close out this over here. Please use all products only as intended. Sell junk. Then we could repair all. Well. Once we get to did I really have 9k? I have 9, almost 10k. Wow, that's great. As soon as we get to 20, we're going to uh, definitely move forward from there. <clears throat> All right. Basic most fraudness just jabe right there, jabe. We have to speak to Overseer Prithor. Name and foul. I think we go through the center over here. We have to speak to Overseer Prithor. We'll figure that one out. So I did both of the heroics on this planet without any assistance from Kim Val, which is pretty awesome. I died one time in the two, and that's because I missed one of my spells. Okay, we're going to click on this. This is the codec. I'm not sure if we have all the codecs for this area. 
I could check and we can come back for them. You don't Let's belong go here. You stand before the chamber of the Dark Council. And this floor is off limits to all who are not lords of the Sith. If you are not on official business, you will leave now. I've come with news about your son. So that is the smell you carry. It is said he went into the tomb of Naga Sadao to prove himself, and was killed. He was such a weak boy. He shames me in death as he shamed me in life. When I heard of his death, I could not leave my post. Honor forbade it. Still, I would like to know what happened in there. Alright, let's see. What are we gonna say? Here. Of course. Ask away, my lord. Your deference does you credit. Now tell me, where did you find his body? Did my pathetic son even make it past the first steps? Now, I'm going to lie. Was he Sith? I'm going to lie. He died valiantly, deep in the tombs. And only he because I want Sith. him to be remembered, well. because our culture, where I'm I from... I suppose my son had more of me in his heart. If you're not I remembered, you're possible. nothing? With this news, you have brought me a piece I didn't think possible. Thank you. That's good. I will have him buried in honor. Take this small token of my appreciation and go. I haven't tried it both ways to see if he gives you something better if you lie to him. Level 15, how about it? Okay, that's bad. Okay. Alright. I never really went this way. What is this way? Imperial Agent phase. Sith Warrior phase. Okay. Imperial Agents are on this? Wow. I didn't know that. Ah! Oh, boom! <laughs> Alright. We're gonna get our other robe, but I'm not gonna wear it because this is better. We have all the blue stuff from the Heroics. Pretty cool. Alright. Um, Prithor is next. We could just fall. Alright, Prithor, where are you? You're in this direction. He's probably in the jail cell where we were before. He's Yeah, he's in this jail cell. There's a lot of jails in here. So Prithor is right here. Oh, there he is. What do you want? I'm training slaves to feed the beasts, and I don't have time to chat. Have you heard of a creature called Seirun? Seirun? You know Seirun. of Seirun? That creature was close to me when I was an acolyte. It helped me survive my trials. It traveled places I couldn't, told me everything it heard and saw. It had been living off vermin before I came along. I figured out a way to make it healthier, stronger. Seirun's special meals. By all means, continue. Okay. Seirun never knew exactly what I fed it. Its meals weren't just beast fodder. Seirun ate the corpses of the Academy's failures. All right. The bones and blood of dead acolytes. Feeding on their energy after death, it grew exponentially more powerful with every meal and became strong in the dark side. <sighs> you fed the corpses of dead students to that thing. The sludge we feed to the slaves and the two Carter wouldn't have sated Seirun. I got to think about how here. I feel about this. It was an easy way to dispose of them. When I saw how twisted Seirun was becoming, I sent it away. It was becoming hungrier all the time, and I feared it would attack the living. Destroying it seemed impossible. It could heal any injury it suffered. I hoped it would find a new home somewhere. But it seems we must act more decisively. What's your plan? Aid Seirun and it will turn on us. One more taste of power and it will begin hunting Acolytes. I can't allow that. Together, we must poison Seirun. Before I sent Seirun away, I developed a powerful toxin. But I didn't have the heart to use it. It won't kill the creature, but it should strip it of its power. So, let's say we poison it. What happens to Seirun then? My best guess? If we do this, Seirun won't survive much longer. It will hide as best it can and slowly starve. But the alternative is to let it become a living horror. 
So this is the problem I have here. I don't think I want it to be a horror, but that's, you know, killing it is a good thing. Letting it live is a bad thing. I don't like this one. I'm gonna kill it. Then let's poison that thing. I'm glad you see it as I do. Because I'm giving you this meat. Why are we don't always killing acolytes? But it should why? fool Serun. Once the poison is in its system, it will weaken. I take no satisfaction in this, but it is necessary. Gotcha. All right, so that is that. And we are right here. And this will bring us to the end of this episode. You know what happens. We're going to begin the next episode with our talk with Overseer Harkin. And then we're going to go feed Serun. And then we're going to go on a journey far, far away. Well, folks, thank you very, very much for watching, commenting, and partaking in the journey, the adventure that Mora Lynn is on. If you have any questions for uh, me and you know how to get into SWOTOR, just put them in the comment section below. If you have any comments, any suggestions, anything that you think she should do in the next episode, please also put it there. And if you do like it, click that thumbs up button. If you do subscribe, please make sure to click on the notification icon so you get notified of all my videos. It really does help the channel grow, and it's pretty much the only way you get to hear about my new videos as they come out. And with that said, you all be safe out there, and I'll talk to you soon.